Hi everyone, Raf here, and as promised, I'm gonna add more sections and lectures to the course. So I've added a new section which is named Material Study, and I will be providing new videos right here. I'd like to know that I'll be adding more lectures to this section right here, so you can implement it right away to your game art. So in the first video right here, we're gonna learn how to create wooden materials. And as you can see, we've actually created a similar material to the Barbarian Axe or for the wooden handle. And in this video, I'm gonna help you understand more how to create wooden material for your game art. So as you can see, I've created a initial design right here. And we're just gonna create a new one and base the colors off of this. And as you can see, if we go right here, you can see the layers that I've created. So here's the layers. And you can see they're all vectors. We're just gonna hide this layer for now and I've prepared a similar layer right here. So in this material study, we're gonna first have to make a block so that we can practice how to create this certain material right here. So I'm just gonna create the shape right here. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. And as you can see, this is supposed to be a block so we have to think in perspective right here also. We're gonna add more realism to this shape right here and turn it into a rectangle or a block. So I'm just gonna add this shape right here, which will serve as the side for the block. And I'm just gonna turn it into multiply. And then I'm just gonna select them both and use the shape builder tool. And then I'm gonna add another side right here. This will be the front of the block and I'm just gonna turn this into screen mode and then remove the excess part again. And as you can see, it's not perfect but if you use the direct selection tool right here or press A on your keyboard and then we can select these corners right here so don't worry if it doesn't look perfect at first because you can always move the anchor points right here so this might seem too high I'm just gonna edit it and as you can see we've actually achieved the same perspective with the block right here Okay, so when I create studies or design studies, I'd like to think that I have a source of light. So mostly the light will be from here. And since the light will be coming from here, this area right here gets the first illumination of the light. I've instructed you to create this into a multiply mode rather than a screen mode because it won't look right if you make them both like this. So to give more realism to the cube we have right here, we're gonna turn it into multiply. And I'm just gonna press tab right here because I don't need all of this interface at the moment because we have our cool shortcuts. So I'm just gonna use the pen tool here and I'm just gonna draw the details for the bark right here. And as you can see, I've created the bark to sort of crack in to the texture or to the wood. So this would serve as the texture for the bark. And then let's just turn this into multiply. And then we're just gonna repeat the process for the whole part of this top area right here. I'm not really happy with this shape right here, so I'm just gonna remake it. Okay, so we have the initial design right here. And as you can see, we also have those bark design or bark texture right here. So let's just continue on adding that design. You can also vary the thickness. And we're just gonna remove the excess part. Okay, so now that we've created the design for the cuts or the bark, we're gonna add the highlights right here. And as you can see, we have added highlights on this part because the light would be coming from this area also. So it will hit this part first and then the edges of these cuts that we've made right here will sort of catch the light and show highlights. So with that in mind, we're just gonna group these details right here. 
so just press Control G and then we can lock them so in my case it's Control 2 because I have a custom keyboard shortcut and we can also select these guys and lock them again or hide but in this case we're gonna lock them so with the pen tool again I'm just gonna draw the highlight for the wooden texture and you can just follow along the edge of the first shapes we've created right here and you can also press shift s now so that you can preview the design right here because we're gonna turn it into screen mode anyways so there you go we're just gonna continue it to the other part right here also try to give variety on the designs because it actually adds more realism to your artwork and because there's actually no perfect thing in the world right So I'm just carefully following the path right here and for things like this you can lessen the intensity or the opacity of, of the shape you're creating so I'm just gonna press 4 on my keyboard and that's because I have my transparency mapped out to my keyboard so you can see I can press 2 for 20 percent 3 for 30 4 for 40 and so on and we're just gonna trace the back right here and then after creating the shape we can actually just well, in my case, I'll just press 1 and then turn it into screen mode. And if you ever come across this incident right here, wherein you need to add more curve to the shape you created, you can actually just press P and then hover in the middle of this segment right here. And then as you can see, my mouse cursor changes into a add anchor point icon. So just press on it and there's your anchor point. And then just use the direct selection tool right here and you can actually grab that anchor point and you can just fix it since this is a very subtle detail you can't really see it that much when it's zoomed out okay so we're just gonna finish it right here and then we're gonna add the same effect we did for the back side right here And also since this is the darkest part of the wooden block, we can actually just turn this to 30%. And I'm just gonna continue on and add the same detail right here. And as you can see, we're actually achieving the wooden look for this material right here. And now we're just gonna add the similar texture or detail which we have right here on the side right here. And as you can see, this is actually the inner part of the wood because it's actually chopped from the trunk of the wood. So it will actually have a different kind of texture which is sort of those fibers which you can see in a cross section of a tree trunk. So we're just gonna add the same texture and this is actually a lot thinner than what we have right here and then we're just gonna turn them into screen mode we can actually overshoot right here because we can just delete them with the shape builder tool So I'm just gonna select them again and remove the excess part with the shape builder tool. And as you can see we've actually achieved the same effect but we're just gonna add some variety of color for the texture we have right here. And now we've actually finished creating the wooden material but as you can see it's too perfect at the moment and we're gonna add more realism to it by adding dents right here or we can actually mask this area right here so that it caves in because this is a sort of a texture of the bark and we can also remove these perfect corners right here so that it can actually look more like wood so first I'm gonna add 
various shading right here. And now we're gonna use masking to create the details right here so that it caves in and it will add much more realism to the design. So we're just gonna create our shaping mask and we're just gonna remove or mask out these very sharp areas right here. So we're masking this so that it's actually non-destructive and we can go back to the original wooden block later. So everything covered in white right here will be seen and this part right here will actually be trimmed or masked out. And we can actually lessen the opacity of our masking shape so that we can see the artwork behind it. And then we're just gonna seal it off. And I'll just turn it to 100% again. Okay, so now we're just gonna select them all and then press Ctrl 7. But before I do that, I'm just gonna zoom in here so that you can see the effect after. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl 7 to mask the wooden block. You can see that by masking the shapes right here, we were actually able to create more realistic design for the wooden block. And since we're trying to implement realism to the design here, you can see that this right here is sort of a perfect corner or a 90 degree corner. And we can actually fix this by adding a sort of a highlight on the corner right here. I'm just gonna lock them first. And then we're just gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna draw the highlight for the edges. And then we're just gonna use eye or the eyedropper tool and just sample from our previous detail right here. So we're just gonna copy the blending mode and the color value of the texture right here. And if we zoom out, adding those highlights or those little detail has actually helped us to achieve a more realistic design. So we can also create it right here. So now we've actually finished the material study for our wooden design. And I hope that you have learned how to approach material design and that you can implement this new knowledge on your game artwork. So thanks a lot for watching and I promise to add more lectures to this section right here. And I'm gonna add more videos on how to achieve certain materials or effects for your game art.